Hello, I am Maria and this is my channel C and Me. I'm a PhD student of marine microbiology, but that doesn't really matter for what I'm about to tell you. I know a couple of people who are struggling with finding a job after they finish their degree in science and not only, but mainly in science, and this inspired me to do this video. I am not the most experienced person in life, I am not that old and I am not that experienced also in the job market. However, I have been through the process of making decisions that would then affect my career and my future life. I know how overwhelming it can be and how easy it is to feel lost. Probably some of you will already know everything that I'm about to tell you. However, maybe some of you don't. So, so here are five advices if you want a career in science. This video will be a bit targeted to people who want a career in science, as I just said. However, I'm pretty sure that most of these advices can also be translated to any other field. So watch it, it's gonna be cool. Number one, don't panic. Chances are that if you're looking for a job or for a degree or just information, you are looking for it in the internet. The internet is great. It allows you to have access to all this great information. On the other hand, sometimes it's just too much information. It's very easy to get overwhelmed by the amount of things you find on the internet. And this can kind of make you panic. So my suggestion is, don't panic. If you feel like you're panicking, just take a breath, go outside, go be with your friends, go complain with your friends about how you really have no clue what you want to do with your future. Go party, have a drink, don't if you are underage, go for outdoors, go to sports, whatever. Just don't panic because if you reach to a point where you are panicking, it's just it's gonna really consume your mind and you will not be able to think about anything else except jobs, jobs, whatever it is I'm looking for. So just don't panic, keep calm, everything will be fine. It's normal to panic a bit, I know I did and I will probably still do when I look for new things to do, but try not to. <laughs> Nummer zwei. Engage. So this advice might be more specially directed to people in science, but I'm pretty sure it might also apply to your field of studies or work. If there's something you are interested in or and that you already know you would really want to work on in the future, talk to groups, research groups, companies that are already working on it. Talk to them, send them an email, phone them, SMS them, no, don't SMS them, that, that's creepy. Send them an email and ask whether you can work with them or if they can give you some information that might help you understand what it is exactly they are doing in this field. This will be very important not only for when you're applying for jobs and grants further on in your future, but it's also important for you to understand whether this is actually what you really want to do and work on. Especially in science, this is really important. I give you this advice because many times when you are in school or when you are in your bachelor, you get to, you are really misled into what science is. Since we are young, we are kind of given books and read this, study this, memorize this, memorize that date, memorize this date. Well, and your brain kind of associates science and knowledge to memorizing stuff that you will probably never even need for the rest of your life. That's why many people do associate science with boringness. Science is actually exactly the opposite. Science is about discovery and finding out new things, not to memorize old ones. Of course, learning things that I already know are important for you to have a well, a background to look for new questions. This is many times I can talk by personal experience what you experience when you start studying something. In my case, I was doing my bachelor degree in biology. If I didn't know any better, I would think that biology was basically memorizing one million pages of stuff that I had to memorize for exam and then forget one week later. I didn't really get, understand what research was all about until I actually started working in a research group. Talk to research groups, ask if you can volunteer, just go for it. Because believe me, it's gonna be worth it, your time. Number three. Don't be afraid. This point might come as a bit awkward to some of you because you might not identify at all with what I'm about to say, but maybe for others this makes total sense. This comes as a follow-up of my previous point or my previous advice. If you do find 
some someone or a group or a company that you would like to work with or you would like to communicate with don't be afraid of contacting them don't be afraid of getting rejected which you will probably will 99 percent of the times nowadays we have emails which is about the most impersonal thing way of communicating even if you don't get the answer you want you will not have to listen to this answer spoken by someone's face in your face you will just get an email or as actually most of the times you will just get no answer at all and even if you do get an email normally the email will just say i'm really sorry we are just not looking for someone with your profile and this might even happen when you do have the profile they're looking for it just happens that they chose someone else so just don't be afraid to contact people. Numero cuatro. Be persistent. You will probably send 1,000 applications and emails and maybe one will be a positive answer. I know by personal experience how frustrating it can be to always get negative answers. It affects your ego, your self-esteem, and it can be unmotivating. It can make you want to cry sometimes it can really make you cry sometimes it's exhausting and you really have to be patient the one yes will come if you are persistent it's very easy to go in a self-destructive spiral of oh my god i am not qualified to do anything in this world However, there is something out there that you are able to do and that a place that will accept you as long as you're persistent. There are people that maybe will get their first yes in their first email. Sometimes it doesn't even matter they are better than you. It just means that they were luckier than you. Unfortunately, sometimes luck plays a really important role in our lives. And this is just something we have to accept. Anyways, there is a job out there for you. Their yes will come at some point, but you need to be persistent. Just don't give up and fight, fight, fight. Numero sunk. Work hard. As I've just said before, luck plays a very important role in most of our lives. However, we can help luck help us. Things just don't fall from the sky onto our laps if we just don't do anything at all. When I say work hard, I don't mean lose your personal life, lose your hobbies, just work, work, work. This is not what I mean at all. But I mean is you have to put your heart and your brains and you have to put a certain amount of hard work into whatever it is you are doing. You can have fun and you can work hard, you just have to manage both. How you manage it is very personal and it's very dependent on exactly what you are doing. And when I was at university, I did go out a lot with my friends, I always did a lot of sports, I was I always liked to be outdoors, I have skipped a couple of classes. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Sorry, dad. Love you. But ultimately, when it came to things that really mattered, whenever I had group essays, when I was engaged in a project, I can say I did put, a, well, kind of a good amount of my time and of my efforts on it. It's just a matter of finding a way to sometimes manage your time the right way, which I really admit is not always easy. I could, instead of being talking to you on this video, I could be right now working on my PhD thesis. That's also true. That's totally, totally, totally a valid point. <laughs> but this is my time management. <laughs> I hope it's gonna work out fine. And don't lose your personal life. I think hobbies and I think friends, family, your just own for yourself moments where you're just doing nothing and chilling they're very important for maintaining your sanity and also for maintaining good brain capacities i i truly believe that and i'm not saying abdicate those things to just work 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 but sometimes you can dedicate more of yourself to what it is that you want to do in the future because as i said before luck is something we cannot control but the amount of time we invest in our dedication is something that us alone can control. You are increasing the probabilities of you being lucky. It's one step closer to success in whatever it is you decide to do further on. Yeah. 
Thank you for watching. For whichever reason you're watching this video, whether it is because you are going through a situation where you are looking for a job or having to decide something, or if you're just look watching it because super cool. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope this helped someone and if you have gone through this or if you have any other helpful advice that you think are important for people in this situation, write in the comments. I will also be very happy about it because I'm pretty sure that I will also go through all this process again and I'll have to remind myself of all the things I just told you. If you like the video, please like it if, and don't forget to share it if you think this is helpful to anyone else. Check out my other videos on my channel and subscribe if you like it. Thank you very much. See you soon.